Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Thanks as always for joining me on another video. I hope you all are having a great day. I personally am having a good one so I'm real excited to sit down and do this video with you guys. So today's video is going to be about my side income for Uber Eats. I did have a good week so we're going to sit down, budget out that paycheck and put our cash into our cash envelopes and make some progress towards our debt snowball. For all of my returning subscribers, as I said, thank you again for joining me on a video. But if this happens to be the first time you came and clicked on this video or came across this channel, welcome. And here on this channel, I talk all things budgeting. So when it comes to cash envelopes, savings, and debt-free journey, that is what I talk about here. So if that is something that you are interested in and you would love to join the family and join this journey, Please do not be afraid to go down below, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell so you never miss any of my videos because I would really appreciate that. So with the intro out of the way, let's just go ahead and get right into the video. So you guys already know how it is when you come here in this, um, what is this, a notebook, <laughs> that's what it's called. I sit here and I write down my budget for the week and I just handwrite when it comes to my side income because it just seems easier to me. But let's just go ahead and get into budgeting out the paycheck. So when it comes to paycheck number three for the month of November, I managed to make $334 for this paycheck, which is exciting. First thing I do is go to my taxes and I do 30%, so we do 334 times 0.30 and we see that we have to put $100 away for taxes so that is what I will do I will just write 100 right here and then when when we do 334 minus the hundred we see that we have two hundred and thirty four dollars remaining and that is when I decide to put it across my expenses sinking funds and debt snowball so First thing I do is expenses, and that's going to be for gas so that I can continue to do my Uber. And I will be putting away $50. So when we take away 50 from this 234, we are now left with $184 to work with. This time I will be able to put money within all of my sinking funds, so that is exciting. First up for sinking funds, we have car maintenance. Car maintenance, I will be adding $30. So minus 30. Christmas is getting 20. Minus 20. Gifts will get $10. Minus 10. Medical is getting $5. Minus 5. And vacation is getting $10. Minus 10. So that means we are left with $109 that I am putting towards my debt snowball, which I am so happy and grateful for. So once I figure out what the budget is looking like, I just go to the bank, get the cash, and then when I get back, we'll go right into stuffing the envelopes. All right guys, so I am back from the bank, got the envelope and I got the cash. So we can get right into that. Put that to the side, put this to the side. And let's organize this money. Let me know in the comments down below how you guys are doing. I um, am doing well. I took off the whole week from my full-time job, so I'm just so relaxed. I took it off for my birthday, you know, just to gift to myself and have a day of relaxation. Oh, and by the way, for anyone that follows me on Instagram, thank you guys so much for wishing me happy birthday. I really did appreciate it. It was so nice. It was hard because I had to, I took a day where I just relaxed and did absolutely nothing. And that was so hard for me. I can't remember the last Sunday where I just sat at home and did absolutely nothing. Because I'm normally um, Ubering on the weekends. So... Yeah, it was a nice change, but well needed. And I just appreciated all of the kind love that you guys showed me on my birthday. So that was just so nice. All right, so we have our cash right here. 
and let me get the notebook so that we can see what we're doing here. Let me get it in frame. There we go. That'll work. Push this up just a little bit and then we can get the binder. All right, so this is the setup and let's get right into it. So first up, we see we have taxes. So let us handle that. Oh, I did go get um, my Hulu gift cards that I took out of my annual subscriptions. So yeah, that's there. Um, where was I going? Taxes. So taxes, we said we were giving $100 and I just took a $100 bill out for that. So now let us see what we have for taxes now. So that is 100, 200, 220, 240. So $240 is within taxes. Not too bad. All right. Moving on next, we have gas. And I keep that in my wallet. Oh, and I get to show you guys for my birthday I gifted myself with a new wallet um, it was very hard because I love that wallet I had that old wallet for I don't know how many years but I said let me treat myself and get something different and force myself to try new things because I am terrible at trying new things but yeah hey guys future me popping on real quick so while editing the video i did see that i was showing some personal information that i did not want to show so unfortunately i will show you guys what the inside of my wallet looks like in the next video all right back to the video so as we can see the gas envelope is completely empty and we are adding fifty dollars and I took it out in weird denomination, so let's hope I get this right. Um, 20, 10, I believe it was three fives and five ones. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so that should equal 50. Let's see. 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. Yeah. So that is 50. I like to get it now in like different denominations because I still get my gas from Costco. And when I'm putting the money back in, if my gas comes to like $22 or $23, I want to be able to, you know, break the change. So that is why the denominations are like that. So gas is all set and we can put that over to the side and bring back our binder. So now we can get into our sinking funds. Apartment is not being touched for the rest of the year. Neither is annual subscriptions. So we are working with car maintenance. Car maintenance is getting 30. So that's a 20 and a 10 to make 30. And now we have, let's see, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95. So $95 is within car maintenance. And we can go ahead and put that right back in. Moving on next is Christmas and I'm adding $20. I did just go yesterday actually and get some more Christmas gifts so that I can try and be done with it. Um, but yeah, I'm still gonna add some money to it because I feel like I might need a little bit more, but you know, we'll see how the rest of the year goes. So now Christmas has 100, 120, 40, 60, 80, 85, 86, 87, 88, 188 dollars. All right, moving on next is gifts. Gifts is getting $10. And within gifts, we now have 10, 20, 30, 35, and $36. So that's good. 
and we can add that right back in here. Next is medical. I feel like I haven't added money to this in forever and it's only $5, but that is still better than nothing. So when we add the five, we now have 100, 20, 40, 50, 60, 65, 70, 71, 72, 73. 173 dollars in medical okay after medical we have vacation that is getting ten dollars so now in vacation we have 100 200 20 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. 270 dollars in vacation. And then we have debt snowball. So debt snowball should be getting 109 dollars. So that's what we should have left. 100, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, so that worked out. So we do have the 109. So now we can get a count so far for the month and see what we have within Debt Snowball. So let me just put this to the side for a second and put the money in its place. Five, and then these are all ones. Oop. Okay. So within Debt Snowball, we now have 100, 200, 300, that is 400, so, all right, so 400, 50, 60, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77. Ooh, okay, so $477, I'm gonna exchange these ones because that's just way too many for me. But still making some good progress for the month and I will just go ahead and put this right back in at my debt snowball and still watch it grow for the remainder of this month. But after all of that, the money is gone and everything is in its place. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed budgeting with me. I hope you are enjoying these videos. If you are, please don't forget to go down below, leave some comments and a thumbs up the video because that really does help out the channel. And do not forget to subscribe to the channel to join the family so you do not miss where we go next. And with all of that, that's all I have for you guys today and I will see you all next time in my next video. Bye guys.